This pattern is a variety of printed cotton weave. It is made with two tubes, in front of two, behind one. Soften the tubes a little, on two, under one on two tubes under one, and this we weave all the time. Because the number of the tubes is divisible 3 minus 1, the pattern shifts, and such a nice looking pattern comes out. The peculiarity of printed cotton weave is that you have to tighten it while weaving to avoid gaps. And this way I weave approximately up to the end of this base form and then start sinking over the holder. The next stage is making the next stage of making a holder like this. I have prepared the first workpiece already and now I'd like to show you the way I form the holder. I find some square shaped thin in my house and with the same wire either 8 mm or 1 cm thick, I have used this wire already in the previous tutorial. I make several coils around the square shaped thin. It can be some box or a wooden brick. In my case it is an old jar from tea. I was presented with it long ago and now I am keeping coffee in it. It has remained non decoupaged occasionally. So I make a few coils. Let it be six to make the holder strong. Well, maybe it can uh, be fewer. The roll has gotten entangled a bit. Okay, let's make five coils not to stop the process. cut and this way I have got a form. Now take it off. Unfortunately it cannot get off uh, this base intact so I have to unroll it but it holds the shape anyway. But for this board it would be much easier. Now I just uh, clue it up adjoining the corners. And I have got such a form. Here there are several varieties possible as well. The first holder I made, I was just winding the form with one layer of tubes from three sides and this upper side with a bit thicker layer. Next time I felt like making it a bit more art looking and following the pattern of weaving a holder we are familiar with already, I have made a holder like this. thinner from these sides and thicker from the top and bottom sides by adding the tubes. And here in the same very well, in the same very way. But because there is a white part here, but I don't want the very holder to be easily soiled, so I decided to make it this time like this. To insert white part of a holder into the white bottom and sides, while the top will be non-spotable, dark with no artistic elements on it. What I do? I take a regular tube I'm going to wrap around and where there is edge I start just winding round with a tube. This side will be a thick light one this side. To make it stronger I add a few tubes. You can use the waste here. I add the remains of the tubes and wind them round tightly.
here we have woven the bottom part, the side part, then add a few tubes more, one of them being dark, make a few coils with a white one, and then just join the white tube here to the other tubes, and start winding round with a dark one. It has been already fixed. This part will be a dark top one. At this stage you can make a pattern with the tubes, but I feel like making the top part just dark one color this time. The only thing needed is to play the coils neatly to avoid the gaps. You can add the dark tubes inside. I have just uh, come across these light remainders. Lengthen the tube and continue with the dark one and then change the tube and continue with the light one. These two parts will be hidden. Look like here, they will not be seen. So if you have any failures here, they will be hidden. It is very important to make the top part neat. It is coming out ok. In the end, when we have finished wrapping, I just cover with glue, press with a closest pin and leave for a while to be drying out. So this way we have shaped two holders. Now find the center. Here is my central tube I have counted. And fix the holder. This way. With two closest pins. From both sides. And start weaving in the technique of a regular rope, grabbing a tube together with a holder, and weave at first one part of a bag and then the second one. Now find the center from both sides and direct the holders. Here is the central tube. Fix with closest pins from both sides. And continue weaving both sides separately from each other. You have probably noticed that in the process of weaving my base form has grown up. I have placed the cups inside and lifted the form. I am going to weave the bag up to this height. Until now we were narrowing the shape, since now we are going to weave it straight. In the process of weaving I lift the skewers to make the process of weaving easier because they provide such a rigid support that it makes weaving hard sometimes if the tube takes a stand too firm. Actually we can even take them out now, because we don't need a slope anymore, but continue weaving following the base form. Here I weave a few rows, and to complete the article neatly I change the tubes. Look what I do here. I embrace the tube of the base together with the holder, twine it round, these first coils have to be neat, the next ones will be easier to make, but the first ones have to be paid special attention to. Got it? and continue weaving in the technique of a rope. On some articles, if the tubes met too closely, which made the process of weaving uncomfortable, I used to connect two tubes and twine them round together. 
But here the bottom part was much wider, and the tubes didn't meet closely enough to connect them. It is comfortable to weave, there will be no more narrowing, so I'm going to continue weaving this way without connecting the tubes. Here I'm not going to lengthen with rigid tubes, but with regular tubes I weave with instead, in order to make the edging easier afterwards. How do I lengthen? I just insert. You can do it with the help of a knitting needle or without it. I'm going to weave a couple of rows this way and then just to, to cut these thick tubes. And this way I weave at first one half of the bag, and after that I pass on to the second half. And this way I weave up to the required height, I mean the height of the holder. So we have woven one part already. Look, I'd like to share such a point. There is a kind of a slight and smooth curve towards the top. Due to what does it come out? Here. A few rows before the end. I change the poles. At first I have inserted the soft newspaper tubes, and then I cut the rigid poles this way, slantwise. I do it neatly and carefully. And both because we cut them slantwise and because at first we used to have doubled poles here and then we pass on to one tube instead of two, we get a curve which is slightly seen but I believe it does play its role anyway if you watch it attentively. In the previous bags I didn't make it, so I like the ones with it more and weave up to the required number of the rows, embracing at first the doubled poles and then one separate pole each time. After we have woven insert as usually, I don't make the edging here, because the surface is interrupted. So I just insert through four rows carefully, And this way it also adds to the smooth curl. The tubes get inserted rather easily. Here we have made several inserts already, but I'm going to cope with it anyway. Got it? We're finished. I'd also like to point out one more moment to, to get it neat here. At first I tried bending as well as other variants, but then I've tried and chosen uh, one as the best one. At first I cover this part with thick school glue, not to let it unweave. Usually I leave it for a while, but this time I am pressed for time, that's why let me show you what I do next. Then I cut the poles neatly with scissors or nipples very tightly.
And then I cover the card with cool glue generously once again. And leave the hole a little, level it. Look, it lies right on the joint. And cover with thick glue once again to make it stick well. This way we have got a rather smooth transition. Notice it. The cut of the unsmooth edge is not seen and the holder sits on neatly. Such a little secret. Repeat all the same actions with the second side and let it dry. Then I usually spread white glue here, but you can cover the edge with glue after cutting to make it thicker. And then follow the usual processing, priming and varnishing after it dries out. I don't really like the color here, so maybe I will make some slight pattern, because the tubes are made of newspapers. If it was all black and white, it would be one scene. Here I am not really satisfied, so I will think of what to do to correct it. But the very principle of weaving a bag is clear. I think of it as a fancy bag. The previous baskets looked rather like carrier bags, while this one looks more fashionable. That's all, good luck to you. If any of you feels like weaving a bag like this, I will be very glad.